We are meeting today in a historic emergency special session because the UN Security Council was unfortunately unable to discharge its primary responsibility for the maintenance of international peace and security as a result of the veto cast by the Russian Federation, which is regrettable. We welcome the convening of this emergency special session as it allows all countries, especially the small countries, to raise their voice, to state their views, and to register their concerns. Singapore has always taken a consistent position on the sovereignty, independence, and territorial integrity of all countries. Singapore is a staunch supporter of the rules-based multilateral system and of the United Nations. For a tiny city-state like Singapore, this is, a, this is an existential issue. A world order where might is right, or the strong do what they can and the weak suffer what they must, would be profoundly inimical to the security and survival of small states. We cannot accept one country attacking another without justification, arguing that its independence was the result of, and I quote, historical errors and crazy decisions, unquote. We have taken note of the UN Humanitarian and Emergency Relief Coordinator's comments about the scale of the humanitarian assistance required to help those affected and we call for safe and unhindered access for humanitarian assistance to Ukraine and all those in need. Mr. President, we reiterate that the sovereignty, political independence, and territorial integrity of all countries, including Ukraine, must be respected within its internationally recognized borders.